Hi guys, Speedy here. Today I'm going to show you what formation to use if you guys want to get into the gold area in Weekend League. We're going to start off with the 4-4-2 formation. One of my favorite personally, not only because it's very defensive, but it's also very attractive. Attractive? Attractive. It's very attacking if you really use the correct features for it. And you guys can copy these right here if you guys want. And these are the players that I'm using currently. Uh, as you guys can see, this team is very doable, not too expensive. From what I can see, if you guys are grinding and going into squad battles and weekend league, you guys should be able to afford this team. Again, go ahead and copy my instructions right here that I have for every single player. With these tactics, not only does it give you a lot of attacking options, as in all my wingers go up all together, but it also is very defensive. I make sure I don't get countered with the 442 as well with people running with their right wings and left wings on the sides. So I make sure my own left wings and right wings come down to defend as well. In a second I'm going to show you guys some gameplay that I currently I currently played against someone within my skill level. Again this team is... I'm going to be highlighting how I, I came up against a division 1 opponent. His team was very solid as well so you guys will see that I really put myself to the test. And my, you guys will see how this formation actually defends and attacks as well. Again, um, I'm letting you guys copy these things down because I want you guys to succeed, even the goalkeeper part. <laughs> this year it's really meta for the goalkeepers to come out, but not a lot of people realize it. And yeah, okay. Now we're going to be able to search for a team. Okay, and this was my opponent's team. As you guys can see, his team was very attacking. It was very defensive as well with that informing Conte and I'm really scared to play against people with Firmino not only because he's really skillful But because Firmino is one of those meta players that, that is kind of semi good, but not good at the same time As you guys can see my opponent was very good at holding down the ball He was making me struggle, but with the tactics that I was using I made sure none of my players were out of place None of them were out of position. Everybody was playing good but just because they weren't they weren't being too aggressive doesn't mean they weren't in the correct positions. I mean, look at this. What a what an interception by Bruno Fernandes. And then we have it right here again. It's going to happen again. Watch. As you can see, my players are all fighting for the badge in my team. And this guy's actually going to get a lucky... Not a lucky... It's a lucky through ball from right there. He's going to cross it in. But with the instruction that I put on Allison, he's going to go right for that cross. And then you guys are going to see that I, I'm going to get a, long, a lucky counter right here with an interception from Varane. And it's actually very OP and very meta to have wingers in this game. It's just not that not a lot of people realize it. As you guys can see, I'm holding down the ball good with my Benyetter. I get the ball with Rashi. He tries to skill in, but lucky, lucky AI. There's nothing I could have done there. And then we're going to see it here again. Again, here I have the ball with Walker. He's going to go up to my right winger again. Go down the middle and right here my opponent doesn't know whether to defend my player going up or in the middle and he's kind of in a tough situ situation unfortunately for me it was Conte the one that shot <laughs> or else i would have scored if it was if it were somewhere better better and then right here as you guys can see my saint maxima when i have him on aggressive he actually goes and tries to intercept the ball which was really good unfortunately for me he got lucky again with the ai block Again, as you guys can see, you guys are going to see some more defensive highlights from my formation. As you guys can see, no one's getting out of position. Everyone's being in the right place at the right time. It's all working good for me. This guy doesn't know how to attack me, which is really what you guys want in your weekend league if you guys are trying to win. He scored right there, but unfortunately for him, it was an offside. Now, to get the most out of this formation, you guys are going to want to uh, trigger runs, which you can do with the L1 on the PlayStation. And that allows almost every single player on the pitch to go forward, which kind of tricks your opponent. He doesn't know whether you guys are going to go in or out, which you guys can use to your advantage. Unfortunately for me, this guy was getting so many lucky AI blocks. Thank God AI is going to finally nerf it. But as you guys see, this formation is so aggressive that just like that, Benyeter stole the ball. Unfortunately for me, I don't know why Rashford shot with his left leg. Should have been another goal, but you know what? I'll give it to the AI. Now the reason why I have Maxima on the left winger side is because he can't actually finish but Rashford can. As you guys can see in this clip, I steal the ball with Conte, pass it to Maxima which he's through but he doesn't have the finishing. Unlucky for me again. Again man, time and time again, I mean look at this formation, it's so solid. Not just my players but also the formation, I mean look at this. 
I get this guy on our counter. It's a 3v3. He got the lucky AI. I mean, look at this. Unlucky for me, I don't finish that again with Rashford. You know, this just wasn't my game. And I knew I had to do one thing. I had to sub out my Bruno because he was getting out of position a lot. And he's not really that defensive. And I need someone to help Conte as well. And I also sub out Ben Yedder. Because I need another striker who's uh, who has more who has more of a stamina. Again, as you guys can see from this clip, I'm trying to break down my opponent so much, but it's quite difficult because he's being super defensive and the AI block is just helping him way too much. I try to get around here with Dembele to Jelson, bring it back to Conte. You know, I'm trying to trick him right here. I don't want him to know where I'm going. <laughs> Unlucky for me, he tackles me and I get the free kick. Lucky for me is that I actually know how to take free kicks and I knew Rashford was going to be my man to score. As you guys can see right here. Bop. Easy, 1-0. Rashford coming in clutch. What a metal god. And as you guys can see right here from kickoff, I want to actually apply pressure to him because I don't want him to start attacking me and him getting comfortable with the ball. So as you can see with this formation, uh, none of his players are getting in behind, which is actually good for me. Because I don't have to position my player, my defenders to get right there. And as you guys can see right there, Kantu with the beautiful interception. Over there to my man Maximo, which I said the wingers are really important this year. I bring it to Rashford, to Dembele. Now right here, right here, as you guys can see, I'm holding the ball with Dembele. I'm making sure his Gomez comes out of position. But I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm winning 1-0. There's nothing to rush or worry about. And again, <laughs> the AI interception, man. Okay, and then right here I realized that since he paused it, I had to make another sub and I wanted to bring on my man Aguero because he's actually a finisher and knows how to position himself and he has the stamina at the moment to finish off the game. So we go back into the game, you know, nothing too crazy, I cross it in. I try to I try to get the corner but the header, but you know, I'm looking for me, I don't get it that time. With my man Dembele try to skill in. So now we're going with Conte. Gomez, <laughs> that was really bad for me. But you know what? I stole the ball, which is really good. What I wanted to show you guys, look, with the with the with the tactics that I have, I make sure that all my players are actually fighting for the ball. So when they go up against the defenders, it's a 50-50 battle. It's not just the defender trying to win the ball. And then right here with Aguero, I don't rush it. I hold it, and boom, with Rashford, just like that, I score. I finish off the game 2-0. And that's what you guys want in weekly. You guys are going to want uh, tactics to win you games just like that. But yes, guys, 2-0. This game was definitely over. Again, with this formation, what you guys are going to get is that your guys' players are actually going to fight for the ball. They're not, they're, they're not just going to watch it. You guys are not going to get out-bodied or out-pushed, depending on the, guy, on the players that you guys actually have. And I do guarantee that if you guys use these tactics and this formation, you guys will get actually into the gold area in weekly. You guys won't struggle that much. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and follow me on Instagram and my Discord for more tips. Again, I'll catch you guys next time. My name is Speedy. Out.